Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, what's Lane going to do, Mr. Barry? Mr. Lane is going to accept the updated offer, Your Honor. And what's that? Dinner, the open alcohol as a passenger. City of Detroit versus Robert Charles Gilbert. Case numbers SP 101. One one two four counts one two and three. SP one oh four seven 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 zero counts one and counts two. SP one oh and count three. SP one oh four seven 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 two one. SP one one two four two five four counts one two and three. SP one one six five two zero eight one. SP 1210337 counts 1, 2, and 3. SP 1263084 counts 1 and counts 2. SP 1263086 counts 1, 2, and 3. SP 1318107 counts 1 and counts 2. SP 1318108 counts 1, 2, and 3. SP 12 Hold on a second. SP1328636 counts one. SP135 4637 counts one, two, and three. SP135 5429 counts one and counts two. SP1447231. SP1447361. Appearance for the record, please. Oh, let's count. Let's call that. Let's call two, three, seven, five, three, zero, seven, seven. Counts one and counts two into the record. Appearance for the record, please. Robert S. Berry Jr., on behalf of the defendant, state your full name, Mr. Gilbert. Robert Charles Gilbert. Well, today is the day and time set for a show Free trial. Free trial. Free trial. Yes, Mr. Gilbert, I don't know what I can do to help you. It seems like you're working, right? Yes. You won't stop driving. And you've got the license revoked. So that means you're going to have to go to a hearing. Uh, have you been to one? Sir. Pardon me? No, sir. You've never taken that step to try to do that, huh? I was. I've been probation and I've been I'm on tether right now, so I didn't have the chance to do it. And now that I'm trying to get my life back in order, that's what I'm doing now. So what are you on probation for? What are you on tether for? What are you on probation for? I was on probation because I had uh had caught a case out in Macomb County for uh I can't hear you. What kind of case? Because I had miss scanned at the uh Walmart for forty dollars and they put me on probation for a forty dollar fine. All right. And what are you on tether for? That's what it, they they got me on tether for that too. No, it's like it's like a tether bond. No, I, I I have a hard time believing that they have you on tether for a forty dollar case. Something else has got to be something else has got to be going along with that. What other case was it, babe? And I'm on an open case right now for Wayne County. There we go. 
And who's the what's what kind of open case you have? Uh, they got me for I was working at the shop. They got me for uh, receiving and concealing. All right, that that sounds more like it. Who's got the tether on you? Wayne County. All right. So, how old are you? I just turned thirty-nine. Thirty-nine years old. You're still going through it. What other kind of cases have you had? That's it. Those are the only two cases you've had in your life? No. And this is the prison time. Pardon me? I had the prison time 14 years ago. For what? Receiving facility. So they say you're a thief, huh? Basically, yes. And where are you working now? DNA Auto. I might not be, I don't know. DNA Auto. DNA. I can only imagine is receiving and concealing. Is that does it have anything to do with an automobile or is that other property? That was that's an automobile, but it was, I had to get time for it. Judge is so intuitive. I understand. So what you're trying to say is you, what you're trying to say is I did time for that. Um, and that's the only other thing you've done time for? The major time, yes. You did 14 years for receiving been, and concealing. Oh, I've been home 14 years. Okay, how much how much time did you do? They gave me one and a half. I came home in 2010. And now you're on tether for receiving and concealing. Yes. For, so, uh, yeah, more. Um yeah, I don't know if it's a, we could set a trial date. Um, Mr. Barry, or you can get an updated offer from him. I just, um, you know, I just, I just, I just look at our, our young black man, and you're, you're getting up there in age, and you've already been to prison. You have all of these civil uh, 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 traffic infractions. You're 40, you're about almost 40 years old. How many kids do you have? Seven. You have seven kids. And you, what are you holding your head down for now? Right. You have seven kids, and you have a a a a a, a, a you're on probation. You admitted to stealing out of Walmart, and you uh, got open charge for receiving and concealing again. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, when it when is enough enough? When is enough enough of, of living that on that on that on that? Uh, side of the law. This this receiving and selling they, they got five of us and no, I'm I'm not I'm not asking you anything about the case. I don't want to I don't want to hear anything about the case. Okay. I'm asking you when do you start going you you you're starting to say they got five of you. I don't I'm not saying that there's anybody did anything illegal in that but you're right. It's people you hang around to. When do you, your wife is there with you? Yes. She's here right how now. Are you, how old are your kids? I got a 19 year old, 12 year old, five year old, four, three, two, one. And you might be headed back to prison, huh? Yes. 
Yes. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just painting a picture so you can see it and all in one big picture right there. You like prison? No. I'm just, I'm just, that's all I'm going to say about it. What do you want to do with these cases, Mr. Barry? Let's speak to them and have a conversation with them. I have some reinstatement fees that I can allow them to pay. One, two, three, four. He's got another one, two, three, four, forty-five dollars a piece. He's got another civil infraction, two fifty-eight. We can reduce that down and get him back to the original cost plus the thing. And another civil infraction, we can waive the uh, fee on that. I, I I don't know if it's all going to be done in vain. He'll have to pay that stuff eventually anyway. But with these two revoked licenses, he's got a long way to go. Uh, allegations. He's got a long way to go to get a valid driver's license. And I don't know if that receiving and concealing is going to prevent him from getting a license anyway. I don't know if they do that anymore. I thought I saw some years ago they stopped, but I can't be sure of that. Uh, let me let you speak to Mr. Barry in a breakout room with that picture. That's the picture. That's not the picture I painted for you, okay? That's the picture you've painted for yourself. Yes. All right. So speak to Mr. Barry, see if he can help you, and then we'll go from there. All right. You have an absolute right to a trial. You get him an updated offer. He's got, or we can just set the matter off for trial, get him an updated offer on that day. Join the room, please. All right. Let's pass the matter. Let's go uh, back on the record with Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert, I've given you an opportunity to speak to counsel. Uh, counselor, what's your client want to do? We seek a bench trial date, Your Honor. Is that what you want to do, Mr. Gilbert? Yes. All right, and Mr. Gilbert, it's, it's, it's really never too late. You know, it, well, at some point it is becoming a time where it's too late. And we all know we're all going to have to face that time at some point in our lives. But as long as you're still walking and breathing, it's never too late for you, sir. But you have to make the decision for yourself. And it's not going to be for anybody else, not your wife, not your kids, not any anybody but yourself. You're going to have to make the decision on what you want to do with the rest of with the rest of your life. That penitentiary is always going to be there and they're always going to have open arms for the people uh, that that get sentenced to that. And if you want to choose that uh, to be the direction of the rest of your life, then so be it. But I would I would think that uh, that that wouldn't be the life that I would want to live at least. So I hope that you can um, Get things together and start to um, start to do things a little different. Yes. All right. Come back September the twelfth, twenty twenty four at nine a.m. is going to be your next date. All right. Yes, Have sir. Have a very good day, sir. Best of luck to you. Yes, sir. Is that a Zoom or in person? That's how, that's like Burger King, sir. You have it your way. No. All right. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Be safe. Be well. Sleep sweet and much love. <laughs>